What's up, YouTube? Welcome back. And today we're going to be looking at the Diablo Lite, which is a free plugin from Cymatics. Stay tuned. Baker. So we just made this from scratch and instead of going through all my regular processes to mix this track up, I'm going to start dropping in Diablo Lite by Cymatics and just seeing what it does on all the different tracks. I'm really excited. I've yet to open up the plugin. I downloaded it earlier today and uh, I've been hearing great things about it. So I'm excited. I hope you're excited. Let's dive on in. First and foremost, I love how that looks. Looks like I just walked into Mordor for all you Lord of the Ring fans out there. Yeah, this is dope. Looks like we let Hades out of the gates of hell. Um, super easy user-friendly interface. It's got the two knobs here, punch and clip. We got mix down below for dry, wet knobs. We got output, input. That looks like it. Looks like you can change the size of it. Yeah. It's not about the size, it's how you use it. Alright, so what are we on? I think let's start with the kick. I want to see what this does for the kick. So, we're going to start without anything turned up and just start dialing it in. Okay. Immediately, that's just disgusting. Oh, I didn't see this. We got the soft and hard clipper down below. Yo, that is beautiful on the kicks. All right, moved on to the snare. Yo. This just made my snare super saiyan. So this is the kick with it, without, with. Just game changer, but check out the snare. Oh! So we got it on the snare, we got it on the kick, loving how that's sounding so far. We're gonna go over, we're gonna start bringing them in on the melody parts. So we got it on the bell, and I'm really curious to see how this sounds. First and foremost, disgusting. The amount of attitude this plugin has is crazy. It sounds like a bit of an exciter mixed with like a really interesting parallel compressor. Then we're gonna bring it in on the keys. See what up there. it on the keys but the keys are supposed to be kind of soft right or at least eerie that's not bad here's with it fully cranked just so i don't love that but just yeah So now we're gonna try to bring it in, see what it's like on these hi-hats. I'm curious to see, you know, hi-hats, they dance with it. They're light. I don't necessarily want them crushed the same way I want the kick crushed. But this might have a little bit of utility making them stand out in the mix. Oh. Two, let's see. Dial in the mix, dial in the clip. What I'm noticing is I'm really happy with this at about 25%. You know, punch 25%, clip a little over 25%. Soft clipper seems to be where I'm leaning. Oh, disgusting. 
Yeah. I would knock someone out in a mosh pit to this track. So last but not least, we're gonna dive in and we're gonna look at this on the 808. Oh my Lord, am I excited to see what this does to an 808. I saved the best for last, I can't lie. So we got it in, but everything's down. Let's see if there's anything in just the processing. No. Seems like it's true bypass, at least for the most part, yeah. Now. Oh my god. Already just filthy. Let's just... <laughs> Sounds like an old XXX track, you know? Where they didn't quite have that low end fixed. Although, God, this is nice. Alright, so let's, let's dial it in. Yo! So this is with it, without. Literally the difference between like kids in a park swinging with their moms pushing them versus someone breaking into your house to play you this song at three in the morning as loud as humanly possible. I love it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh my God. And yeah, hard clip on that for sure. Now, I brought in a little vocal acapella just to screw around and see what that sounds like. Which look yeah, I like. It's just a little. So that's the acapella. Let's drag in the cymatics and see what it does to a vocal chop. So first thing I notice is it boosts it quite a bit. So I'm just dialing down the output. So being honest, didn't 100% love it on the vocal, but I could see maybe some opportunity, some creative leverage there. But all in all, this plugin is ridiculous. You know, from everything it did to the kicks, the 808s, and the snare, oh my lord, the snare. Let me just play you that back. Let's mute the vocals without with I can even turn it up a little bit so to wrap up I'm super impressed with this plugin it absolutely obliterated the 808s my personal favorite um, the kick insane the snare ridiculous I, I even like what it did on the high end I think the only thing I wasn't like the most impressed with was the vocal but I think vocal is supposed to be a bit cleaner, right? So, I mean, I don't want to write, like rule it out. I only literally tried one sample, but everything else I put this on, it just destroyed in, in the best of ways. I'm so impressed. This is ridiculous. This plugin is absolutely insane. The fact that it's free, why aren't you rushing to go grab it, but wait for the video to end? Make sure to smash the like button. Make sure to subscribe, guys. I love you all so much. Make sure to comment down below. I'm gonna play this from the top, but just what this plugin does is wow. There's there's not really any other processing on this beat. Um, I'm gonna run it through my master chain and just have the Diablo there. 
on all the different tracks doing a little bit of this a little bit of that a bit different but yo this is nuts so thank you all for watching thank you for sticking around make sure to go get this plug in and uh give it a try on your new mix big love